if the presence of security guards at a concert makes you feel unsafe. Raise your hand if the presence of security guards at a sporting event makes you feel unsafe. Raise your hand if the presence of security guards at an airport makes you feel unsafe. These guards are put in place to protect people. And they have multiple things in common, but one of which is that they are typically armed. When the words school safety first come to mind, many people would think of different things. For example, a young child may consider school safety not talking to strangers. And a young teen may recall a health class when they learn not to do drugs or drink alcohol. According to the American Institute for Research, school safety is defined as schools and school-related activities where students are safe from violence, bullying, harassment, and substance use. Many people today tend to focus on the violence aspect of school safety, particularly preventing school shootings. Of these people that are passionate about preventing school shootings, there are many different ideas of how to do so. For example, emphasizing ID cards, metal detectors, and even arming teachers. Today, I'm going to be focusing on the benefit of hiring armed guards for schools. But regardless of what initially comes to mind when you hear the word school safety, it all means the same thing to everyone keeping kids, teachers, and faculty members safe in their schools. As a society, when we have an issue or we're in an unsafe situation, we call the police. We trust that the police will protect us, and usually they do. But in a school shooting, this is not an option. Because the average school shooting lasts for five minutes, yet the average police response time to a school shooting is 15 minutes. And according to the FBI, 60% of mass shootings end before police arrive at the scene. In these crucial situations, time means lives, and so there isn't any time to spare. I'd like you to think of places that you know are protected by guns. For example, as I said before, sports games, concerts, airports, and other government buildings. And now think of people you know that are protected by guns. To name a few, your favorite movie stars, singers, and even politicians. A very vivid memory I have is from last March when my school board made the decision to hire armed guards for our schools. The community was pretty divided over this, and it was assumed that the student body was against it. So I went to the school board to make a speech in support of the decision. And while I was there at the meeting, many people were also speaking, but one in particular stood out to me. He was a father speaking in support of armed guards in schools. And he explained that after President McKinley was assassinated, Secret Service began to protect the president and their families. He questioned why, if the White House could do something and fix something after tragedy struck, schools couldn't do the same thing after a school shooting because school shootings today have become a cycle with nothing changing in the middle. He said that to him, his child was more important than the president and deserved the same protection as the president themselves. So I'm not a parent, so I can't answer this question, but if you are, think to yourself, whose safety is more important to you, the president or your own child's? Youth in schools will grow up to be our doctors, lawyers, educators, police officers, and military personnel. We need to act like it. We need to protect them as if they are already in these positions. Why should any building be better protected than a school? And why should any person be better protected than a student just because they're famous? Some may feel that armed guards in schools would make students feel unsafe. And it might make some kids feel unsafe, but Generally, we don't feel unsafe by guards that are armed in other places, so why would it be any different in schools? These guards would be armed, but also well-trained, and there to protect the students. A major obstacle in coming together to find a solution for school shootings is the polarized nature of our country today. 
You're either left or you're right, you're conservative or you're a liberal, you're a Democrat or you're a Republican, and you can't intertwine with the other. It's so polarized that one side could cure cancer, and the other would complain that they hadn't cured every other disease in the planet. But luckily, school safety is not a political issue. Once people understand this, it will be much easier to come together in a bipartisan manner to find a solution. Has having an armed guard always prevented school shootings? No. As with anything, there will be times when a good idea fails to be successful. But according to the FBI, 97.6% of times when an active shooter is confronted with armed resistance, they either flee the scene or are eliminated. The fastest way for this to occur is to have someone on campus ready to confront any active shooter. At the end of the day, sadly, there is no guaranteed defense against school shootings, and I don't think that there's a foolproof plan in regards to many things. But when it comes to students, they deserve every ounce of effort possible to making it happen. They deserve the same energy that goes into protecting famous people. Students deserve to come home every single day safe and sound. Armed guards are an important and effective way to meet this expectation, and they are certainly worth the conversation. Thank you.